Welcome to the tutorial of D2 Tech's Beginner Mandarin for the iPhone and iTouch. In this tutorial, I'm going to take you briefly through how to use this app, and I will also explain some of the language principles that apply, as well as describe some of the great features along the way. Beginner Mandarin is designed as a learning companion for people who look for the best place to start learning this amazing language. Mandarin is very complex for most people, especially for those whose first language is not Asian. People always wonder what is the first step to understand this language spoken by 1.5 billion people. The most common mistake is to think repeating certain sentences after audio will work. However, the most important and correct first step in learning Mandarin is to master pinyin. Pinyin, also known as Hayu pinyin, is a romanization of the Chinese characters that uses alphabet combinations to form Chinese words. Shown here, all the tones are separated with their initials and finals. They are sorted into what is commonly called BPMF format. With the combination of these initials and finals, a Chinese word is created. The properly accepted way of writing this word is shown here. Each word has tones associated with them. They were called high, rising, high low, and falling. In the rare case, a fifth tone is used, which is called neutral or toneless. If there is a toneless for a word, it is shown by a Chinese character next to the word itself. An example for all five tones is Ba. As displayed here, you can have all possible tones just by hitting the buttons on the screen. Ba. Ba, 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 ba. You will also notice that there are simplified Chinese characters with English translations on all of the tone buttons. These Chinese characters are the characters used when this particular initial and final are used in association with the tone. To say the number 8, you would have to have a high tone for ba. ba. But to say dat, you would use the falling tone for ba. ba. Using the pinyin, you can move to another character, for instance, lu. It has the four main pronunciations with it. However, there is also an lu with two dots on top, which you can also go to. This LU only has three of the four main tones, because the first tone, the, the high, does not exist in this circumstance. A final example is Jun. Jun has the dots on the special character in the final, with the J as the initial, but the translation into symbol does not because it is not required for writing. This is because there is no U final for the J initial. Jun. Jun. Using these features, you can learn the correct way to speak Mandarin quickly and wherever you are. In order to help your understanding, Beginner Mandarin has a test feature to test and further cement your new skills. If you hit the test button, you can go to the test area. There are two test modes, listen and pronounce. For listen, you have an example sound you play. You figure out based on the choices given which tone it should be. Hit the associated check and it will tell you if you are correct. To continue, hit next and a new sound will be displayed. Jiu. I. Pronounce is done in reverse where you are given the Chinese tone and you need to select the correct audio that corresponds to the tone. Again, hit the check to see if you are correct. The test will keep score so you can see how well you are progressing. Finally, you have some options available to you. To get to the options menu, you hit the I button on the main screen. There you can choose to enable or disable the slider audio, which is played when moving the slider. You also have the option to adjust the master volume. Finally, you can enable or disable the instruction screens for the next time the app is launched. This concludes our tutorial. Thank you for purchasing this fantastic application. We're always trying to improve it for the user, so please feel free to send us any feedback via email or visit our website for more information on Pinyin and this application. Xie. Xie.